Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> I'm so glad that you're spending this quality time when we're supposed to love and cherish one another with me? You're so kind, thank you. If you're looking at my hair and you're thinking not crazy about it, then you are not the only one. She just is defying gravity today and there's no stopping her. I just got out of a job interview and it didn't go great. Um, and I'm just gonna be really honest right now and it's kind of hard and scary. I wanted to make this for anyone that feels like me because I've been doing a lot of soul searching and reflection lately and I realize I have a lot of really bad ways of seeing the world. More specifically, I have a lot of like unhealthy ways of seeing myself and so if you're like me, then I hope this helps. Uh, this was like my dream job. It's like a tour guide at the Polynesian Cultural Center and you get to like walk people around and talk to people and be in the PCC and that's like my favorite thing. Like all three of those things in like one job is like my dream, you know, but I'm super white and I know that and I'm like from Utah and I'm graduating soon. There's like a lot of reasons why it doesn't make very much sense for me to get this job, but I applied anyway because it felt good. My little heart sank um, every time I saw the job posting, so I finally Got an interview and I was so excited. I'm trying to keep this interesting. Which uh, is ironic because I don't feel very interesting right now. So, um, at first I felt like, okay, this is going well. Like maybe a little tongue tied, a little nervous, and speaking faster than I wanted to, but that was fine. And then they're like, all right, so tour guides need to be like entertainers. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm. I'm entertaining, I think, I think I'm funny. I watch my own videos and I laugh. This little thing came up, or this little item, and they're like, hey, tell us about this item, and it's like this random decorative thing. And they're like, hey, tell us about this. And I was like, what the? I was like, I have no idea what to say. I didn't do very well in that, and I was like embarrassed, and they were super, super nice about it, right? But I was like, that was dumb. And then they asked me to tell a joke, and I couldn't, or tell a funny story. I have so many stories, but I couldn't think of what they would find funny in that moment. Anyway, it really, it makes no sense for me to get this job, especially because my interview was super embarrassing. So I walked home, and I just felt really embarrassed and, um, and like bummed. And I was all like, okay, it's fine. So I called my sister and I told her about it. And then I called my parents and, and I was like, oh, it's fine. Like, I'm just gonna, um, I was like, it's fine. I'm just gonna go and I'll be a little bummed about it. And that's fine. Cause you know, rejection sucks and then I'll get over it. I do want to say right here that this is not like the not getting this job is really not that big of a deal, but it's just the fact that it was something I really cared about and I feel like I messed it up. So then I was really hungry and I was like, I'm gonna go get some poke. A little poke, walking over. As I'm walking, I just feel like people can see my like failures, the things I was rejected by. I felt like everyone was looking at me. It's so weird. Um, that everyone was looking at me and they could see that I, you know, like I was a loser, you know? And then I realized no one knows that. No one knows. I mean, now you guys know, but that's because I'm telling you. I realized that, um, that my whole life, I just, when something bad happened, I felt like everyone could see that. Anyone that knew about my dream would, you know, make fun of me or put me down because I didn't get what I wanted. And that it's stupid to believe. Man. I am emotional about this. And there's an assignment that was due last night that's worth 10% of my grade and I'm pretty sure it's just like a yes or no thing. And I forgot about it. I totally spaced on it. So with like the bad job interview and losing 10% of my grade, I felt like everyone could see that I'm just this mess, you know? Like everyone knows that I'm just like incapable of doing anything correctly. So if you're anything like me, then know that no one knows what your failures are. No one can see them. They're not obvious the way that you might think that they are. I might have mentioned before that uh, last year was a hard year for me and I remember one time I went out with my friend Kristen to a foolie shout out to you Kristen I love you. I was telling her about all the stuff that had happened and she at the very end was like I had no idea that you were going through that. Like you just always come across as like very positive and happy. And one part of that is because I adore Kristen and it's super easy to just be happy around her. But another part of that is people really, they don't know what's going on. Even though you feel like you're failing and like you're skydiving without a parachute and just flailing around like crazy, no one sees that. People, usually we see each other as capable, as strong. That's why we compare each other. 
That's why we compare ourselves so much to each other all the time because we don't see what's behind the scenes. We have no idea what's going on with people and yet we think that we do. And so my extension of love on this beautiful Cupid's birthday, I don't know if that's what Valentine's Day is, but on this day of love, I want you to know that people have no idea that you didn't achieve what you worked hard for. And a lot of the time if they did, <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying. And if they did, then they would love you so much still. Our, um, oh my gosh, I can't talk. <sighs> Our loved ones, they don't value us. Stop crying. <laughs> Stop so I can speak. Our loved ones don't value us because we achieve our goals. They love us because they see it. <laughs> they see our value. And my friend um, Piper, shout out to you Piper, I love you. I told her yesterday and she was like, you would be the best tour guide because she's the cutest hype man ever. So I texted her and I said, hey, I don't think I got it. And I was like, it's okay though, obviously. And she responded and was like, well, that sounds like a stupid interview anyway. Like, who asked that? And again, it was just like right on my team. In conclusion, people, they don't know. No one, let me get this close. No one knows that you didn't get what you wanted. No one has any idea that you think of yourself as a failure. You are what matters. You are always what matters. And no dumb dating relationships or missed job opportunities or grades or anything should ever take you away from the love that you have for yourself knowing that you're trying your best because you're just trying to be brave enough to do new things and put yourself out there and be vulnerable because that's what life is. It's all about just taking a step and trying. Man, that was hard. Okay, I might just go have a good cry. <laughs>